Hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, called Motivated by Mercy. Uh, this is the first in our series of messages, Christian Practice 301. Uh, so open your Bibles uh, or your cell phones to Romans chapter 12. It starts off, therefore, I urge you. Now, Apostle Paul starts with the word therefore. Uh, and that refers back to everything else he's already done in the first 11 chapters of Romans. Uh, Apostle Paul is famous for tying together theology with practice. So the first you know, 11 chapters is theology, and then 12 to 16 is going to be practice. Uh, it's based on uh, practice. So looking back, therefore, because of what? Well, because uh, Romans 1 to 3 says everybody can know there's a God, but we refuse to know him. We sin against him, so we fall short of God's kingdom. Then Romans 4 to 5 says, but God loves us. He shows his grace to us by sending his son to die for us, and we can have peace with God. And that's the great message of, of the book of Romans. That's Christian faith. Then in chapter 6 to 8, he says, with the power of the Holy Spirit, overcoming our sin nature, we can live a life following Christ. And it's all about spirit-filled living. Then chapters 9 to 11, he talks about what about Israel? Is Israel replaced by Christianity? Are, are they replaced by Christians? Uh, has God moved on, or does he still have a plan uh, for uh, Israel? And then we come to chapter 12. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy... Uh, our practice is going to be in view of God's mercy. Uh, why do we love God? Why do we love people? Why do we want to serve God? Why do we want to live a good life? To earn our way into heaven? To earn merit points with God? No, it's in response to God's mercy. Uh, we do it not because we have to, but because we want to. We do it out of gratefulness for what God has done for us. So why don't you turn to uh, your partner or people in your group and share for a few minutes, how has God been merciful to you? I'm sure you'll have some great stories. So back to verse 1, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy... How do we practice uh, the Christian faith? How do we serve motivated by God's mercy? Uh, Paul's going to share three ways. First has to do with our bodies. To offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. So we're going to offer our bodies holy, living sacrifices to God. Second, we offer Him our minds. Do not... Conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good and pleasing and perfect will. So we want to offer God our minds. The problem is we can't change our minds. God has to do it. We have to be transformed. So it's passive. We need to be transformed by God. How do we do that? This is why we talk so much about the importance of reading the Bible, uh, using our journal, uh, using another journal, uh, so that our minds can be transformed. You know, we took a survey a couple weeks ago, and 84% said the number one obstacle to spending time in the Bible is being too tired and too busy. I get that. But I wonder how much time do we spend with screen time? Looking at our cell phones, responding to emails, texts, looking, you know, shopping on the internet, looking, researching things, uh, watching TV or movies, um, or using our TVs, uh, watching, you know. We have all this time for screen time, but no time for God's Word? Tells me it's not maybe so much a matter of being too busy but it's a matter of our priorities. Third thing we're supposed to offer God is our time. So in verses 3 to 8, For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith 
God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. And so Paul is, is talking about in the church, the body of Christ, we all have a role to play. The Holy Spirit has given each of us gifts. And so now he's going to list seven spiritual gifts. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, that's one. Then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, that's a second one. Then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. That's a third one. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. That's a fourth. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, then do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it uh, cheerfully. Uh, so we give our time by using the gifts God has given us to serve Him. All right, that's all I have to say today. And so now you can talk with your group, go through the journal if that's what you're doing. Um, and uh, have a great time. Pray for each other. And uh, all right, see you later.